Hello, welcome to another episode of Phi Mapping. Today we're going to look at this Black Atlantic Puffin, specifically the head of this Black Atlantic Puffin. We're going to use some of these maps, um, which are created using these basic shapes found in the two different patterns of Phi. So, right off the bat, well, let's see if there is an obvious phi rectangle in here, just to get a good rough sense of the nature of this shape here. Now, often with animals, creatures of the living sort, there is a good phi rectangle somewhere directly in there. Now often what happens is that it's the body is one rectangle and then the head is another rectangle. Since we can't see the body here, we're going to ignore that. So obviously this is not exactly a phi rectangle. Um, although the phi, it does look like the phi goes out to this brown part of the beak. I bet if that was closed theoretically it matches there. So the brown part of the beak is phi relative to under the chin and the top of the head and the back of the head. And if that's the case, see these are four different phi scales of rectangles here. And if that is the case, then sometimes there's another phi relationship in there. So that, well, there's um, almost one there, whereby the length of the beak is two phi steps down from this, I guess you could call that the height of the head. And then the eye, and then the eye is kind of roughly in that one there. And that's that one is also possibly the height of the beak. Pretty, well, not really. Ah, it's hard to say. Okay, let's try that same exercise, but with circles. And these are uh, the square, the actual circles, not the ovals. So this is going to be talking a little bit more about a, a square nature. But that's going to work well, I think. Yes, yeah, so um, now obviously not a perfect circle. So how does that go? That's hard to say, but clearly so. Yeah, interesting. So we're going below where there's no, there's two different points here. There's the white part, which is clearly highly intentional or very... Uh, uh, specific, but it's not the same as the chin, apparently. So if we go to the chin, so in the head, it, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not a circle. If we just make it, so let's say if we go, yeah, so there's an interesting one. You can see that that circle really defines that head really well. This circle then see, uh, defines that beak. Now it's not the same curve as that beak, but it is the um, length of that beak almost perfectly. That's a direct phi relationship. That's a one-two step. Um, so it's a little bit interesting that it go so far below the chin and what would happen if we no it doesn't matter okay so let's see if we can find this one and this one is going to be mm, almost the size of the beak there Nope. Now 
one year. So it'll be the size of the eye. So we've got that relative phi relationship there. So nice circles. So puffins like circles. Okay. Uh, actually, let's try the oval one just to see here. That's interesting. That's the puts the eye right in the middle of that oval, which is almost the length of the head, but not quite. If we go down to there and we go back to here, look at that. That's giving us see that's almost right on the chin there. So there's things Yeah, yeah, so that's, I mean, it's not perfectly doing the head there, but if the beak was closed, it would be doing this black area right to the back of the head, under the chin, and kind of around the head like that. And then this one. doing that curve, but not quite. Almost the length of the mouth, and this one. No. Right, and that one's going to go yeah, around the eye a little bit better, actually. Yeah, something like that. Crap. Yeah, the ovals definitely work. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, clearly a circular type pattern. And if that is the case, let's then try an actual circle pattern of the phi spiral nature here sort of two different types of phi. One represents a line and one represents a spiral or a sort of circle enclosure type idea. This is part of the spiral enclosure family. Now that wants to put that eye right there inside that big circle. Again, not so much doing the chin it's doing the head very well because that's uh, circular as we explored before. And it's just putting that eye off a little bit. I, I mean, that eye is not perfectly round. And if we put it there, it lifts it off the head like that. But okay, maybe that's not it. Let's try the phi spiral map. This one is a pretty, the most famous of all of the phi iterations. I'd love to find that the, the shape of the white there. This type of stuff is a lot about just aligning. It's a lot about alignments. You're just trying to find stuff that you can fixate on and then see if see how many things align. So this seems like it's hard to say it. Is that almost 
the shape. It's not quite. No. Hmm. It's tripping me out that the chin and the white are different. doesn't allow a really clear phi rectangle in there. Um, 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 we could try the tri-spiral. Let's try the tri-spiral of the same idea, the phi family. I'd love to find that white part. seeing that shape directly in any of these master maps. Let's try this one from the Fibonacci line style, just to see. feels like that white part is a very distinct shape. of shapes. Let's uh, I could try this one's a little simpler. This is a curve version of the sort of bisecting the phi rectangle idea. based curvature pattern from the linear map creates this very circular idea and since this puffin is very circular this might be helpful. Now sometimes I will make these videos and then I'll go back and watch them and see things that I missed. So some people say, well, why don't you do this before you start recording? But partly what I'm trying to get across here is that this is not an exact science. There's a lot of different ways to interpret this, and sometimes you find them and sometimes you don't. I'm fairly convinced they're always in there. It's just if you can figure out how they work or not. 
and that's, I mean, you know, doing things but not really describing it. And it, it is most gratifying when the maps fit directly onto each other. So I would say that's the best ones that we've found were uh, the circles, really. So, I mean, phi doesn't, it's not always in these patterns. Sometimes it's just in the simple lines. And sometimes all it takes is for just, yeah, you have four circles that all represent phi in some way. Or that are phi related to each other. Sometimes that's all it takes. Need a much more skilled geometrist than I am. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, is that to line up anywhere with the eye? This is why it can take so long, because it's endless amounts of fiddling with little... So, but we already know that's a circle, so that eye is... looks like it's roughly... Nah. That uh, goes right through the center. Yeah. No, not so much. Let's see, then, one more, if we can find... Try the linear spiral map on just right on the eye here. Try spiral again right in the eye because some, I mean, that's a very clear shape right there that should appear. Okay, well, that might be sort of that. And that the head is definitely phi. The patterns are, like in terms of the white, not sure I couldn't find the white, folks. I apologize. I do not believe I could find the white shape. But definitely between the circles and yeah, the head to the beak to the size of the eye to the red part of the beak to the. Yeah, let's try that again with the actual circle pattern of the phi spiral nature. Go back to here for a second. Sorry. So that gives us that big, beautiful arc over the head. It puts the eye. Well, uh, no, it doesn't quite. See, that's something annoying here. 
go to the white or the chin? The white or the chin? And then move it back to there. Which puts the eye right on the phi mark. But doesn't do the head curvature. Yeah, see. To get the head, you have to go like this. And that works really well. And yeah, you go far to the whole thing. If we go far to the whole thing, we get that big circle right there. So, and the phi division right on the head. See how this line right here makes that a square and makes this a phi rectangle, which means they're directly phi related. So the length of the head to the length of the beak is a phi relationship. Definitely is doing a big circle thing here from the top half. And is it also doing that on the the chin is just a little bit flatter and there's certainly some 2D, 3D stuff happening here. We want to get that circle right in the eye. It still kind of maintains everything but pushes that line a little bit higher. Just too bad. Which is too bad. Yeah, I would say that puffin certainly has a bit of phi and very circular notion here. That one, if we go from where would that point be? That point would theoretically be right there. So, can you imagine that top line is obviously not going to work? But it looks like that top beak is about that line, but it's not either, is it? Jeez Louise, I'm sorry, guys. I really thought this one was going to be better. Anyway, okay, there you go. There's a puffin. A uh, bit of phi in it, nothing super dramatic. Beautiful picture though. Black Atlantic puffin. Beautiful bird. Beak, head, circles. Yeah, it's in there. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Catch you in the next one. Stay safe.